this. And then the third one, and, and I had this when I started talking. I love the way my memory works. But it was, uh, oh, um, The Stack, right? Robert Kiyosaki goes to, to um, Monopoly. Three, and I forget the colors. Three greenhouses, one red hotel. Three greenhouses were four. Vices. Four, four greenhouses. Four, four, right. There you go. Okay. So we didn't ever play board games at my house because we'd all murder each other. But <laughs> so I, I, I get the stack. So that means bigger is better. And so if you, it sounds simple. Oh. Logic, but you buy a few, you, you create some equity because they appreciate you have to pay down. And then when you sell them, you can 1031 and do this big, huge thing and have a big, huge asset, which does a couple of things. One, what's the difference between lending between a single family house, a triplex and a 20 plex? You don't, you don't get fixed rate, 30-year debt. You you add loan of reevaluation periods. You add NOI and all these things that you need to th- learn about. And then what happens when you have a 10-plex or a 20-plex instead of a bunch of spread out duplexes or single family houses? You're pulling all your tenants from one area. Now an economic driver changes and you can lose a large portion. You can have an infestation, right? Uh, bed bugs, termites, rats, whatever. And it impacts a lot of tenants instead of that one unit somewhere off miles away from your other units. It's a very simple, logical concept that draws people in. So I kind of appreciate that because my job in the analogy is to get people from the parking lot of the stadium into the stadium so that they can meet you and all your millionaires. And then you guys can show them how to get to Matt to actually handle their own rehabs and managing their properties. So something that gets them interested, sure, but reasonable expectations also matter. Yeah, I think I think maybe we should brainstorm these and make this. I bet you we could come up with ten or twelve of these. I mean, some of them just light me up. The one percent rule, the core four, bigger is better. Crazy stuff, folks. This guy is amazing. He is the guy that has the hardest job. He takes people that are drunk and idiotic in this in the parking lot and gets them into the stands. I have the easiest job because I have people that are interested, uh, and then Matt. Uh, closes them by showing them again what's hard so i really love the fact that i've surrounded myself with a great teacher and a wonderful practitioner i just get to sit there to motivate and kind of guide folks so dion where can people find you they can find me right here on youtube dion talk financial freedom thank you so much ciao